two ingredients. Um, part of the two ingredient thing was when we were first, uh, you know, inspired to make chocolate. We, you know, those kind of the guys that we looked up to were two ingredient makers. But also in this new wave of single origin chocolate, what you're trying to highlight in the end is what the farmer has done. You know, big part of chocolate making is you need a high quality flavored grade cacao that's been properly fermented and dried and processed on the farmer's side. And so as chocolate makers, we're really just trying to highlight what they've already done, what they've achieved by growing this cacao. And so, you know, the simplest form of that is uh, just adding sugar. You know, we want to try to keep it as simple as possible so that you're tasting as pure um, of an experience of that origin of chocolate, if that makes sense. Mm -hmm. um, adding cocoa butter makes it smoother and there's nothing wrong with it. And adding vanilla adds all these flavors and there's nothing wrong with these other things. But when we were, when we first started and still a big part of our brand is we're trying to highlight what the farmers are doing. You know, arguably the best way to do that would be just 100%, you know, just that cacao. But 100% is too bitter for most and too astringent. So right in that like 70 to 78%, 80% range, uh, you know, we're adding 25 to you know 20% cane sugar. It sweetens it up enough that it's um, it's enjoyable to eat. It's still sweet. It's a chocolate bar that you want to eat. But you're able to really taste those subtle nuances: the red berry that comes through with Madagascar, the floral notes with Belize, the nutty notes that are coming in with Brazil, and the Solomon Islands. And uh, and so by just adding one other ingredient, being organic cane sugar, we're trying to keep it as simple so you taste that bean. And it's really fun to taste them side by side and see how different they can be.